Okay, so Black's Medusa will be the selection. Yep. Choice to say the least. As well as keep tabs. Oh, there's Black again getting hit by that last striker Ray with Fiery Soul now leveling up. Black, he's gonna put his shield to use! Black, he's gonna get the first blood! He weighed it out perfectly. Mate, you never know. Uh, Limp gets to do the defense job on bottom lane. Let's carry the catapult. One to nine, the T1 tower on bottom. Oh, there goes your overgrowth. Central wall was down, so it did some count him out. I also see that Observer was sitting on the high ground. Silky just wants to get the hell out of here, but Storm Spirit won't allow for it to happen. The stun, nice double one from Bulba. Catching out Hanskin as well as Ira. And Yuri, he's got Mars Command as well as Mana Style. He's trying to run out of here. Bulba actually being a very big nuisance, but the movement came in from behind. Double Light Strike Ray, Part Eye, the Living Arm, and protecting him. The last attack, though, from Limp will get the kill, but not much more. Hero needs space again. It's a double, it's a triple kill for Koitfa. Stun onto Unison Farm. He'll be the next main target. Koitfa for the Ultra Kill. There it is. Soul Spirit getting momentum. And NIP not having. He's not going to reach anyone that way. With the double damage, Rudy would like to just control Koi for the Nether Skyrath Mage right behind him, though. And he is not available. In fact, he's looking towards the middle lane where Black is pushing. More support rotates in from uh, from Nyx Assassin. He sees Seal Kid. And uh, they start over on Seal Kid. You'll accept it, taking Medusa out of, the pl out of the fight. At least for the moment, they have to burn through this mana shield of hers. Which is not the easiest task in the world. Storm Spirit jumping away from Era. Now into that stone gate. The RP. It holds Black there, but Magnus has turned his back. But the tree ulti. The perfect overgrowth is going to give the space for Koifa to get in there and fight and doing a serious amount of work with the help from Bulba. You do have Era still alive. He's trying to battle up against Black, burning out the mana, but another double stun from Pylon Eye. The perfect positioning. He actually crits through Bulba. The Aegis Demon will pop. And that's the reason why Void from Hunskin has to come to the front lines. The Finger of Death will get the kill. And they smoke and run themselves away. The mid tower denied by Era again. He'll survive right with Era. Sentry Ward to go down. They don't react like they saw Tree and Protector. So if he does walk in a little bit closer, now they do. Blink him. They already get that stun over on Era. You'll set her up. Limp, who do you go for? The seal is over on Seal Kid, so he cannot get that Mystic Flare off. And then Stonegate, the perfect overgrowth. Era is being ticked down, but the damage isn't enough for him. Limp will drop. And it looks like Team Tinker. They have an unstoppable force. No, nope, they actually don't have another single ward on the map at the moment. And what's in their inventory? Okay, so we just had one being planted down. It's on the other side of the river. To deny that one's gonna be pretty difficult. But at the same time, look at Ira go to work. He's, he's got the open slot. Nyx Assassin could potentially blink in and Black just walks in. Ira, he got backed up by Roshan. There's a jump in. Who's got the Aegis model? Snatched by Nyx Assassin. In comes your Stone Gates as well from Black. But the RP catching two. Might try and push him up on top of the cliffside. But then again, Ira can't reach him. He does have Omni Slash available. The Sentry Ward is down. So they have perfect vision over on Way Too Sexy. Now your Omni Slash to go to work. He jumps up towards the tree and protects. They get him down. Double kill from Ira with the Mystic Flare in combination. Koifa will drop an Ira. He gets himself through and away. 30 HP. No! He won't live! It's a double kill for Black. The Mystic Snake was able to reach him. Nice Stalker won't be able to escape by the Black with a triple kill. The Aegis Immortal. It was pop during that engagement. Limp pushes Koifa. Fortification will come in. Pile and I just have a finger of death. But Ira just sees the Creep Wave to spawn up and you'll have all of his life back again. Mana started triggered. No more living armor. At least they're able to drain through one of the illusions. Yule Scepter on the other. And Ira. He wants the Ranger X too. Pylite die, the stun is only on the illusion. Ira gonna spin, allows him to keep attacking into the buildings. Nyx Assassin's up in a second. And maybe, does Ira? No, no, they should pull back right. It's dangerous. They'll have to be quick about this. There's no Dire Vision looking for it. Nyx Assassin's in the neighborhood. How quick can you beat Ira? There is that item spot. There's Cheese as well as Aegis. Bulba last time the tap and the Observer Ward. Oh, they don't see him. But what's, what are they dropping? Mask of Mass has actually been dropped. So the spin, the immunity, the Aegis Immortal picked up. Uh, there's still that Mask of Mana sitting on the ground. Era, I don't know why he just left it behind. It's just sitting inside the pip. Now the Yule Scepter up, PKB for Limp. So he doesn't care about the Spy Carrots, but the second Yule Scepter coming in from, uh, from Nyx Assassin. But Limp, Laguna Blade attack. They're going to get through the Nyx Assassin. And more than enough damage. Shockwave trying to help him up against Paladai. Finger of Death onto Limp. But Era, he's got ulti available, but doesn't require it. Again, still, this Mask of Mana, yeah, it's being pinged out. Oh, that's why the BKB was flying in. He can get two heroes. Bomb. No! He missed it, which means a tree ulti. He didn't get it off in time! Way too sexy. Black. He'll at least survive as the creep wave came up, so the Omni Slash didn't do enough work. Era. That uh, Aegis Immortal hits about to pop up. 
McCoy for jumping down. He's got enough chase to follow up after the Magnus era. He's just attacked something. He couldn't just walk himself away from this. Lips all going to go down. It's a disastrous fight for NIP. So back to World of the Living Era. Triggers the BKB. He can actually go over towards the Nyx Assassin too. But up and towards the air. Man, it's to try and break free of the slow pilot eye being crit apart. But Era will still end up dying. The Medusa ending his spree. As Hanskin on the run, he just wants to escape with a gem. He won't be so lucky though. Turns for the void. Nick's assassin. Spy Carapace ends up returning the sun into the, into the Night Stalker. So the gem returned to Team Marino Tinkerino. That's an entire... And they're coming to fight. They want to fight him up on top lane. Bob was the first one here. It's going to reveal actually the smoke. Black is also there, but then the rest of the team will arrive. Here it turns on the BKB, and then the Omni Slash Pylite Die. There's the Yule Center up and towards the air, and he actually used most of them on Pylite Die. Find the crit comes in. Way too sexy. Follow here, and there's your RP. Three caught. Cleave him, slides him, dies him. Team Tinker. And he gives an ultra kill to Era. The gem is returned. And here they come, Team Arena Tinkerino. We've got everyone smoked up. Vendetta can come up from the next assassin. There's Hansken. Getting in very, very close. Smoke's gonna break. Where's that BKB? Not available. They go on limp. And it's a nice double stun. In through the rear. The Orca stops Magnus. And Seal gonna limp. They're two tied up close together. Johannes. Ah, uh, Unisam. He's in the trees. Your scepter up. Where is this Juggernaut though? He's battling up against Black. He's got the Creep Wave here as well. Needs more damage going into Black. You've just lost the Magnus to the back lines. Lena's brought back into the game too. There's Era as well as Night Stalker. They got the vision on Black. Can they bring him down though? Era, too much trouble. He used the full refresher combo for this. Night Stalker as well. Say goodbye to your gem. There's not much more to be done. He makes it nighttime. Now this means Team Arena Tinkerino. Oh, so unlucky. Roshan won't spawn for another from high ground. You could slave, you could shockwave, and you could light strike array. That's enough to clean up most creep waves. So Aegis the Immortal down the ground. 16 Bloodstone char charges into court. Bulba is still just that jump in stunner. And Black, okay. Scythe of Vice is actually what he's purchasing. I take it back for the Lincoln Sphere. He's wanting, he's wanting more control. I'm seeing a jump up, top lane. They found Era. the stun. Juggernaut needs to get out of here. Era, he's gonna go down! Oh, this is big! Buyback is still available, but they don't want to force it. Lip needs to keep this creep wave back. Slave off cooldown, they'll take care of most of the rest of the wave. Yeah, there it is. But the tower being ripped apart by black fortifications Radiance available. 7 top. HP on that tower is going to drop. As black split shots at buyback, they need to get this RP straight away, or at least a skewer. Your Scepter! No, the timing! It sends him up in the air, the Magnus can't find anything, and Magnus gonna go down! No buyback available, this could be it! Actually, no he doesn't, he's still up, I take it all back! The RP goes to work, but the tree Trinoli is there, Era! needs to start attacking harder! He's got Omni Slash, he needs to get rid of the Green Wave before it's gonna be effective! He's sheeped up, that's GG! Era is down for the count, we're going to go to a third one right here! They wipe the rest of NIP! And Team Marino Tinkerino, they keep their hopes alive for ESL1 Frankfurt. The winner of this game goes up against Na'Vi. And a game that is yet to be scheduled. But a terrific, terrific game. Deciding game. There's still been anyone's game through both of these two matches. How will it go in game number three? Stay tuned, we'll have a short break and we'll be back here for your viewing pleasure to find out who will advance and who will be eliminated.